All right, West Family Advent. Number take, three. Take three. <laughs> First Sunday of Advent, as you recall, was the prophecy candle from Isaiah, in which Jesus' birth was foretold. Second Sunday of Advent was the Bethlehem candle, signifying that Bethlehem would be the place where a great king oh, no. would come from. And today, we're going to hear about the angel, I mean the uh, shepherd's candle. So Brian's going to read Luke chapter 2, beginning in verse 8. Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, <laughs> keeping watch over the flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all of the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this, is, this will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there is with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angel went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, and it had, as it had been told to them. The, um, the shepherds um, were taken by surprise. And that's a little bit about what Christmas is, isn't it? It's a surprise. Mm. Christmas morning, yes. we open a gift. It's a surprise. Hopefully, it's a surprise. Hopefully. <laughs> um, and um, the shepherds were just, they were just living life, normal. And then, all of a sudden, surprise. Bam. I'm an angel. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's all do it together. Ready? Go. Oh. <laughs> so, they, they were surprised. And part of the... The joy of Christmas is the surprise. Little baby Hannah was uh, not a surprise per se, but when she came, she was like a present. And I'm sure Mary felt the same about Jesus. So we're going to sing this. Uh, going to sing this little uh, hymn. It's actually spiritual, but it's, a, it's a, one of the more popular ones at Christmas. It talks about the shepherds, and I, I like this one. So let's begin, Cindy. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching for silent nights by night, behold the there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. We'll do two and three together and then the chorus. Okay. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth bring out the angel chorus that hid our Savior's birth. Down in a lonely manger the humble Christ was born and God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Ready, Allison? Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain. 
said that Jesus Christ is born. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so we light the third candle of Advent in remembrance of the shepherds, their surprise and their joy. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for Christmas, for the surprise that you brought. And not just when you came on the earth, but God, that day that each of us came to you, it was a surprise. Lord, we didn't expect you, and certainly, Lord, we haven't expected all that you've given us. So thank you for that. Bless this season. Actually, Lord, bless this last week. We've got about eight days till, mm. till we celebrate Christmas officially. And God, we pray that you bring joy in those eight days as we, like the shepherds, march towards Bethlehem on Christmas morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Allison, do you want to blow out the candles? Okay. <laughs> Maybe Yoda will help you. Help her. Go. Ready? Go. Good job. How about this one? Good job. This one? Okay. Yay. And that is Advent number three. Yay. Nice job.